Electric. Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, I thought today I would just do a rudimentary video doing a test of Zappy charging. Uh, in my last video we talked about grid usage and the Zappy and how much grid energy it actually uses. Um, a little bit more than I would like. So I thought I'd do a test today to see whether it's visible, to see whether we can record or notice how the Zappy works or how it does not work. Um, one of the comments or some of the comments that came through from my video was that some people were noticing as the Zappy turns on, then it draws a full seven kilowatts of power and then ramps down where I haven't seen that. I've seen um, that it starts at a lower level and ramps up. So I thought I would record a test and show you what I can see and what it does. Okay, a quick explanation of what we're actually looking at here. So on my tablet, you can see the My Energy app that's going to show us what to do. Here I'm going to select the Eddy device and turn it off so it doesn't interfere with what we're doing it. So I've selected the stop mode. The um, meter above that's showing 2.018 watts, that's the meter that uh, is connected to my solar output. So that shows the output of both my solar arrays, but because one of them is a hybrid inverter, it's also showing battery power coming out through that same inverter. Because it's a hybrid inverter, I can't tell if it's battery power coming out or solar power coming out. It is coming out of that inverter and being inverted into AC. So it's the combination of my two solar arrays plus battery power that's coming out. On the right hand side is my Octopus Energy Smart Meter showing 237 watts going out to the grid at the moment. Okay, I've just skipped forward here to show the Zappy is in stop mode. So it's now time to start a charge. Okay, so let's select Eco, not Eco Plus. So it should initiate a 1.4 to 1.7 kilowatt charge. Remember, left-hand side is power from the battery and solar. We've got two kilowatts of solar at the moment, currently all being exported out to the grid that we can see on the meter on the right-hand side. So it's starting to charge. No difference on solar, no change, no battery power coming through. Now we can see on the Octopus Smart Meter that the amount going out to the grid has reduced. Remember, there's about 10, 10 second lag on the Octopus Energy Meter, but over on the solar output meter, it's almost instant instantaneous, so just a second or two perhaps delay. But I didn't see anything there. There was no spike up to seven. We didn't see anything coming down. Um, no additional battery power coming out from the meter on the left and nothing visible on the meter on the right. That's not to say it didn't happen because it might have done instantaneously, but there was absolutely nothing there. So now I've selected the fast charge. So the mini is set to reduced mode, so it should peak up to 3.8, 3.9 kilowatts. Okay, so now we can see it looks like there's more solar, but of course that's not, that's the battery reacting. And we can see the meter showing 871 watts there coming from the grid. So of course there is going to be grid usage because there has to be grid usage before the battery responds. But um, no spike up to 7 kilowatts. That 800 watts was in addition to the um, 2 kilowatts of solar. And there we have it, straight up to um, 3.8 uh, kilowatts is coming out of solar and the battery and that's doing the fast charge. So again, no spike. I'm not seeing that spike at all. Um, that all looks correct to me. Okay, now going from a fast charge down to Eco. This one's quite interesting because the battery is currently providing some support, providing the 3.8 kilowatts, because there was only, what, 2 kilowatts of solar, and that is quite consistent at the moment. And it's in Eco mode now, but it's not reducing. Look, it's holding at 3.7, 3.8 kilowatts. So the battery's not letting go of that power. It's seeing that there's a load, so it's providing the power. This is what I was saying before, that it does support the charge. And even when you um, are trying to just use only what's solar, sometimes the battery's got hold of it and it's providing the energy. And obviously the device, the Zappy, is saying, thank you very much, if that's available, I will use it. But what we're going to see here in a few moments is it does, over a short period of time, start to drop off. Once it decides it's going to let go, it starts to let go at 100 watts ago. And here we go. So 3.7, now down to 3.6. Hopefully I'll be correct here, yep, 3.4 or 5. So it's gradually dropping down. Smart meter showing just a little bit of grid usage, so it is going to balance and fluctuate. It's going to happen down to 
And this is my view of how the Huawei battery and inverter um, is gradually letting go of the power. Because it knows I've only got two kilowatts of solar, but it's sort of fighting with the Zappi. The Zappi is trying to use the energy if it's available, and the battery is trying to provide it if there's a device there that wants to use it. But it's balancing quite well, so eventually it does um, let go of it all the way down to um, the amount of solar that there really is. Yeah, interesting there, it dropped to 1.1 and was basically going to cut out, and then uh, it's gone for a bit of grid draw, 1.2 kilowatts there of grid draw, and jumped back up to 3 kilowatts of charging. So it's very interesting to see what goes on in this negotiation and how it works out, how much power to provide and whether the battery's in there or not. So okay, just selecting Eco Plus now, so it shouldn't hold at the 1.4, 1.7 kilowatts. It should be just what's available with solar. And yep, instantly look, 1.9, 2.3, 2 kilowatts, that's what we saw with solar to start with. So um, it looks like it's dropped down to um, just what we're expecting. So now going on to the main view of my energy app, you can see that was a temporary view while it was adjusting. And there we have 1.7 from solar. 100 uh, watts going into the house and 1.6 into the car pretty much as we would expect so no big spikes no big changes um, nothing uh, 7 kilowatts nothing at 3.8 jumping to it just went to what I would expect really unless I had it in fast mode and then of course you'd expect it to do it anyway I hope that was of interest I hope um, that helps some people understand what's actually going on and what to expect um, I still can't see um, in there what's causing all of the grid draw. Let me know if you saw something I didn't. Uh, be interested to hear your comments. Take care. See you again.